Josh Reinstein, good to talk to you again. Sorry about everything you guys are going through. How are you physically holding up? No, we're doing uh, pretty well considering the horror show that we are witnessing here in Israel. Um, it's been a very traumatic time. This is the largest uh, amount of Jewish people, uh, men, women, children, Holocaust survivors, uh, to be murdered since the time of the Holocaust in a barbaric way. Uh, so uh, pe people are very shocked. People are very um, caught off guard, but we're a very strong people. We're very determined to people. And now we take the fight to them. You're dealing with a lot of world leaders. And I know that's how we became friends. I read your book and you've talked about diplomacy through you know faith and the evangelical community worldwide supporting israel and those in uh, positions of power what are you hearing from these members of parliament around the world that already were in favor of israel how have they uh, expressed to you their support and uh, have you felt an increase even in the level of support from them and others that haven't been as pro-Israel as they should have. Well, Jim, as you know, we have 53 Israel allies, caucuses, and legislative bodies around the world. Uh, 1,500 legislators in our network. Um, we are the Iron Dome for diplomacy uh, for Israel, and we're seeing incredibly strong statements. Uh, we just heard from two Democratic chairs, two Republican chairs of the Congressional Israelized Caucus, uh, calling this a genocide, talking about how this was Iran, giving Israel the time to get the job done. And this set and statements are echoed around the world in our 19 caucuses in Europe, the 12 in Africa, 12 in Latin America and Australia and, and Asia. Uh, we're seeing tremendous support. And these are the people who are going to carry the, the, the message uh, to their people and to the heads of state as international opinions sway as we get into this campaign. So it's very important that people of faith now stand up and, and take a stand. And we're seeing that in these legislators. We've had the opportunity to attend some pro-Israel rallies. One, the, the congressman I believe you're talking about, Brad Schneider was there and we spoke and I had actually heard him at the Israel Allies Foundation um, event that you guys had in Capitol Hill. And we met up another time. I went to a rededication of a desecrated Jewish cemetery. So I was impressed with what he had to say at the rally. Uh, our governor, Governor Pritzker, which I haven't seen eye to eye with on much. I, I applauded him for what he, as a Jewish man, said for uh, for Israel and the nation of Israel and support. It seems to me like America, by and large, obviously there's the outliers, by and large, we are supporting Israel as we should, our greatest ally, I think total in the world, but certainly our greatest ally in the Middle East. Do you feel that from America? I know Blinken is there right now. What is your sense of American support? American support, first of all, in this fight is paramount. Um, it's very important that we have wall-to-wall -wall support, and we're seeing it. Um, as you mentioned, there are outliers. There, there are uh, people from the squad, for example, who can't say cutting the heads off babies is something that they're against even. I mean, it's shocking. But for 99% of, of what we're seeing from America, there's wall-to-wall -wall support for Israel. Um, incredibly, uh, the Jewish community is coming together like no never before. There are people actually waiting for flights, thousands of people to get back to Israel to fight. Uh, and in the Christian community, we're seeing prayer visuals, we're seeing church services, uh, networks like Daystar um, are, are, are constantly raising money for support, praying for the peace of Jerusalem, and pushing their representatives to stand for Israel. So it's been really an overwhelming amount of support from America. We appreciate it. We're standing with you. We're having a prayer service Sunday uh, dedicated to praying for peace. And I know Israel is a is a small country, and it seems like everybody feels the effect of especially something so awful. You personally, I'm sure, with family and friends, have had impact. What are some of the impacts you guys have faced already with either people that have been hurt or killed or are going into harm's way? It's really uh, overwhelming. I mean, it, this is proportionately like 15 9-11s, uh, what hit us um, uh, population-wise. And so everyone has been affected by it. Everyone knows someone who has fallen. Uh, everyone knows people who have been called up to active duty. There are 360,000 active duty members. And it's important to remember, Jim, that it's not just support that we're seeing from America and other places around the world. But freedom and democracy is under attack. Uh, the, the, the people who attacked us, these horrible barbarians, 
are puppets of the Iranian regime. And they always say first the Saturday people and then the Sunday people. It's always the Jews first, but it's the Christians that they're going to come after next. Uh, they're even calling for a day of rage in America uh, to get the their sleeper cells activated there. So um, not only are we feeling the effects, but I think that you will be feeling the effects as well. And that's why it's so important that we stand together, uh, not just in our Judeo-Christian uh, values, which we share, but also in our, our ideas that, of democracy and freedom, which come from those values. What's the reason that this happened? How come it hasn't gotten, uh, Hezbollah hasn't really gotten fully involved yet? Like, it, it just seems like such weirdness is happening right now. So try to give me a comment on like the big picture of what's going on and why. Well, this uh, all started because uh, Iran was very uh, nervous about the fact that we were about to make a peace deal with Saudi Arabia. A peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel would be a sea change in the region and that it would be a, a threat to the Iranian terror regime uh, of Ayatollahs that are now controlling a lot of this area in the Middle East. So uh, they instructed the Hamas to do it. We don't know why they haven't instructed Hezbollah to jump in, but we expect that they might do uh, that as well. Uh, we don't think that the worst is behind us. Um, right now, uh, I ho I'm hoping, and I have no inside information or anything like that, but I hope that we would hit this, the tip of the sword, uh, the, the head of the serpent, which is Iran. But at the very least, uh, we should wipe out their proxy armies in, in Gaza uh, so that our civilian populations are no under un, no longer under threat, and also we need to take a hard look at the 150,000 rockets that are being pointed at us from uh, Lebanon through Hezbollah. I mean, I think that's uh, an equally, if not way bigger, uh, threat to to Israel, and that's still uh, the knife at our neck. So, as you speak to Americans and evangelicals in particular, what can we do, Josh? Well, I think the first thing that you can do is pray for the peace of Jerusalem, um, praying. Uh, we believe in the power of prayer. Prayer works. Uh, so we thank you for your prayers. I think the second thing you do is see how you can help and get involved to stay off the sidelines. You know, we're uh, launching a, a major diplomatic offensive. Go to IsraelAllies.org and see how you can get involved with our organization. Uh, see how you can take a role. Uh, we're planning uh, rallies in America and in countries around the world as well. Uh, show up, get involved, talk to your legislators and say, Give Israel the time to get the job done. Um, what are you doing about the $6 billion that was sent to Iran? You need to claw that back. Everyone's got to get involved now because I believe that this is a threat to the whole of the free world, not just Israel. And as people of the book, both Jews and Christians, we need to stand together. I agree. And our prayers are with you, your family, your work, and with Israel. So blessings, Josh, and uh, we'll talk again soon, hopefully. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me on the show, and it's great to, to see you. Good to see you, friendly face. God bless. Take care. Take care.